Hi guys, uh, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a cardiologist in York and today's video is on the subject of emotional stress and how it can trigger atrial fibrillation or AFib. Now this is a subject that is really close to my heart because whilst everyone believes that the reason there's so much illness about is because the population is getting older, I've always maintained that I think it's because our lifestyles are bad. All right. And whenever lifestyle is mentioned, people automatically assume that lifestyle is all about diet and exercise. But the truth is that perhaps the most important yet most neglected component of lifestyle is stress. We live in a hugely stressful world and stress is everywhere. And to my mind, stress is perhaps the single biggest cause of morbidity and mortality and it is unfortunate that our politicians are happy to give millions to pharmaceutical companies to bring weird and wonderful drugs to treat medical illnesses, but they don't really invest at all in strategies that help to reduce stress and thereby prevent disease from happening in the first place. And the simple reason for this is that actually preventing disease is not as profitable as treating disease. Uh, so we know that stress is hugely inflammatory to the body. And most chronic Western world illnesses arise from long-term chronic inflammation. And I wanted to try and see if, I, if there was any evidence linking stress with atrial fibrillation. So um, this week I found a really, really interesting study which was published in the Journal of American College of Cardiology. This was published in October 2014. And the lead author is someone called Rachel Lambert. And the study is called Triggering of Symptomatic Atrial Fibrillation by Negative Emotion. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll put a link to it in my, on my Facebook page. So uh, do come and visit my Facebook page and then you can read the whole study. Now, what they did was they took, these researchers took 95 patients who had paroxysmal atrial fibrillation. By paroxysmal atrial fibrillation, what I mean is that the atrial fibrillation would come and go. Okay. And uh, most of these patients would be fine, and then there would be something, and then suddenly they'd be in, a, in AFib. So what these researchers were interested in knowing is whether emotions impacted on whether patients developed AFib or not. All right. And so what they did was they said to these patients that we need you to fill in an online electronic diary. Okay. And every day, at the end of the day, we want you to put down how you, were fe how you had been feeling that day, okay? And they ask them things like, have you been feeling happy? Have you been sad? Have you been angry? Were you stressed today? Are you, had you been impatient today? Were you anxious today? Were you hungry today, okay? And then these patients were given a loop recorder, which is a, a recording device, for a whole year. And whenever they had their AFib, they, or felt that they were going into AFib, they were asked to press the loop recorder so they could record their heart rhythm. But also at that time they were asked, how did you feel just before this happened? Again, were you feeling happy? Were you feeling angry? Were you feeling anxious? Were you feeling sad? Were you stressed? Were you feeling impatient? Were you feeling hungry? Okay, And <clears throat> these patients had to write their symptoms down. And what the researchers wanted to know was, did emotional status influence whether patients had an AFib attack on the same day? And they also wanted to know, did emotional status on the day before impact on whether you had AFib on the next day? And the results are startling and amazingly interesting, okay? What they found was stress, anxiety, sadness, and anger all increase the likelihood of atrial fibrillation. However, happiness was incredibly protective. In fact, the likelihood of AF events was 85% less likely to happen if you were happy. Okay? Happiness was associated with 85% lower uh, um, likelihood of AF events. And also, they found that actually, if you had been stressed or angry the day before, then that almost doubled the likelihood of developing atrial fibrillation on the next day. The more the stress, the more likely the, uh, the likelihood of having AF on the next day. So this is really, really interesting. And basically, 
In summary, what they very elegantly demonstrated is that negative emotion can trigger a PIP. And this is why I think being mindful of the huge negative impact that stress can have on our health is so important. And giving priority to those aspects of your life that make you happy and de-stress you is really a very, very worthwhile investment to make. In particular, also, I think those of us who live, lead very stressful lives, who have very busy jobs, it's very important to take time, uh, practice meditation, mindfulness, taking breaks, going away on holiday, stress uh, coping mechanisms, but also trying to minimize stress if you can. You know, So if you have a very stressful job and you can take on a less stressful job, for a slightly less pay, if that's something that your life allows you, that your lifestyle allows you to do, then it's well worth doing because stress has a huge, huge, huge negative impact on our health. Okay, so thank you so much for listening. Um, if you found this video useful, please um, um, cons do consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. Also, if you'd like to speak to me, uh, please come and join my Facebook page. Uh, you can get through to it by typing in yourcardiology at gmail.com on the Facebook uh, search bar. Uh, my website is www.yourcardiology.co.uk and my Twitter ID is yourcardiology. Thank you so much for listening. All the best. Take care. Bye.